Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I was just taking a walk by this very old church here, which is real near where I am right now, and a scrub bush all around. I was hidden for the little cemetery and I ran into this outhouse here, which has seen better days, something of a relic. And um, I was always interested in exploring these kinds of structures because in my grandfather's time, uh, that was what was used out in the country, these outhouses. So I'm going to look inside here. <laughs> I see that it's a multiple outhouse with a special facility for a tiny little kid which might be very important so they don't fall in. And up on the roof, I see it needs a little work up here. Definitely needs a little work. Quite an interesting structure. Guess it's an old frontier structure. Hmm. And uh, right now I'm heading over to the tiny cemetery over here. I'm going to find a seat and then I'm going to just talk to you for a moment or two. Oh my gosh. Look what I found here. Some kind of snake. It's not very big. See there? Not very big. Heading towards the cemetery. Maybe you can see its head there. Doesn't look poisonous. That's the lucky thing. Well, so I'm going to head that way towards the cemetery too. Bye, snake! Well, okay, I made it over here to the cemetery and a, a fox just went running off. And there's a deer. He's, he's looking my way. Hi, deer! Hello, dude! And look, there's a... There's a blue jay sitting right... In, see. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Whoa. Nice, huh? Blue Jay. Hi, dude. Hi, Blue Jay. Haha. <laughs> so here's the tiny little church, uh, and it has a tiny little steeple. It's a one-room church, and to the left of the church is the um, the no longer used outhouse, the relic or antique outhouse, and then around here to the right is the cemetery what we were just looking at. And then, if you were to make a complete circuit, you'd come to the place where I'm sitting. And this is a memorial bench in the cemetery. It looks like a husband and wife. It looks like the wife died in 2003 and her husband passed away nine years earlier. And then the family must have built this wonderful stone bench for sitting on and, and, and observing the beauty of nature here and thinking about our loved ones who are on a different plane from us right now, continuing their lessons. And so I'm very grateful for this bench and this day and these incredible um, animals that have stopped by to say hi. And I, I just wanted to talk for a minute about our minds and how they make distinctions between the sacred like that church and uh, what you might call the profane or the mundane might be a better word like that old outhouse um, it's too bad that we judge things like that and as as sacred or as not sacred because all those things are a part of our lives. And uh, in our personalities, because of the many incarnations that we've had in a, a, a difficult um, dimension, a third dimension, um, we have sacred and we have profane. And there's no getting around it right now. <laughs> and the critic in our mind can do quite a number on us because of the pr profane part. Uh, it, it can say, it can say, okay, 
you, your heart, your soul are that outhouse. You are in terrible repair and you are useless and you are worthless and and you are bad and evil and cruel and can say all kinds of things. But are these things true? No, they're not true. In a way, that outhouse is beautiful. It's, it's an antique of the old frontier days. And it expresses the love of some man who had a family for his children and his care for them, his concern for them, for their safety and for their comfort, and for his wife. And it's just as valuable as that church, you know? So, I say, why not be kind to myself? I'm not perfect. So what? <laughs> and you may feel you're not perfect, but I bet you're more perfect than you think you are. <laughs> so, perfectly beautiful souls. I wish you a perfectly beautiful day in God's light and love and grace. Talk to you later. Wow, the sun's going down. Wow. Well, here's one last shot. I was just getting ready to leave the cemetery and I saw a partial rainbow off in the distance. See there? It almost looks like an angel's breath <laughs> or an angel's presence here. Beautiful. Wow.